pepe ye babuji. But it can add the metanalis no uh edin na atuja na same de ye besha uh and commentation as in minia uh abedi you will be co-hosting with me. Abedi, uh say ultimate car, let me know say you can you can you can hear me now after no yen share and come to no asset. Some of the show me that say uh and afi me ma ubibia akwaba e de ba and an aped me di so uh let me say a special um welcome to all of you out there and I'm sure you guys are keeping safe. Yeah, thank you too. Yeah. Um, let's take this opportunity to um, wish our president a belated happy birthday and also to congratulate him for the good job he's doing. And I pray, we are sure, say, uh, Samuel Lechen, I introduce you, Ubiya Ainti. Say, yeah, we still much time, I have a program, so, and I'm going to share, say, a bit, and come up, send you a Samuel Lechen, a kind of, um, about COVID-19, baby, a chassis, if we, and baby, a yabby drew, and especially, effort, Ghana's ambassador, uh, to China, any China, uh, Ghana's embassy in China, a Juma Omedi, a Diama in Yanua, a watch China. Hello, yes, no, ah, uh, Name Yadum, Bibia Echo under control, but uh, ironically, no China ever down, I said Ghana, P, any Epijayim, it has become necessary, say, uh, from the auspices of the Ghana's ambassador to China, uh, His Excellency Edward Boateng in office, ni other partners, ni M. Shet, say, yeah, this is a discussion we ever talk from. You have a dialogue, ni am Ghana for ni uh, where it's coming from, where what we've been through, and then the way forward. It is somewhere, uh, that, that is a little bit to what you say. Many of you say for the information now on their mind, but quickly, my main card of 418, you know, I said you made a cross up a live a conference platform and you so and to sell for Facebook and a pay now to share happy 989 FMA. You can watch the entire show live or your Facebook war happy 989 FM. It's also live on uh Twitter, live on Instagram, uh, handle on a happy 989. FM into which now join the conversation not our honor. I cross our live ETV Ghana live net two TV live Ash FM live Oman FM uh into which me I follow discussion at our honor and then you can send your comments coming through uh Wabra EG and Komoi and send a mini abedi a kind of yen share and commodity train I say and a pay na yen share said yeah na you the his excellency Ambassador Boati and uh, Yadino Air Shah here. Sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, Bibia Ebo. Good morning. Bibia Ebo. Good morning. 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 Good we are suffering in our acronym Kutujenin because we can't fight the disease. But China, you are in every buyer, no? And then, what to say? Well, China, they say, say um, you are in a coffin. In fact, I started to call Juma. You say, you know, Kasa, you say, you say, you officer, you know, Kasa. And um, Kubi province, uh, yeah, we started free and then we should TV on a pray public transportation I started. And I think uh, Mr. Samson Koku Kasa will bit me my more information on what is actually happening in Hubei province. But uh Roma, I think uh, China in particular, the yeah, Noma CC area at all year. And they say no share Chinese ones, so they are going out to help other countries. So more Italy, almost the Nipa so called UK. And they are also going around. And I say that it's going, it's going well. And if I understand you correctly, let us say the area initially, now your friend is a epicenter, no? uh, Hubei, Wuhan, no? they have started opening their doors for others from, let's say, Beijing and Guangzhou to enter. Yes, they say, go free, Hubei, you can move out. and. For a long time, you couldn't move out or go anywhere. But you see, you can, and you can also come to Beijing and other places. And you see, in China and the Omar Guma, as you see, we can move around. 
Maybe a very important question, Wabra. Sir, and since I mean, you know, a cobayan. Because it had become a heated conversation, sir. Not ye be such a na and ye be a gana for a dishon for one more China Honum. No, I didn't see me for more Emba Ghana. At the time, I'm not gonna for a demand to see him for Mumbra. I remember saying, Looks for now, so can say him for Mumbra. What informed your decision, sir? Momo Ebakaho. I think the decision to keep the students here, the, that was the president's decision. Because I think the um, president shared everything. You know, as I told the students at that time, you know, as president, he had a complete 360 degree overview of what was happened, what was happening. And you are firm, you know, and I'm a minister of foreign affairs. And uh, Okachua is based on whatever, how he's seeing things. And if you say, Yenja and Kolano Hase. And I think says, so the ecosystem is here, he's justified because I'm right, Ariane and Kasa start. Chinese phone cassette will be they will try and solve it. Unfortunately, a lot of the leaders didn't listen. Jamie Kachuan and Kikau and the Fan and Kofa from the Fan Krakon, and as you see, Yin and Yawi Bia Yawasi. And I think that for that day, the president has to be applauded. I think what we did was, as his soldiers, no, I'm not a catcher, I say, and Kolan in Tinao, but Monshi is a Obia Hong Kan. Yes, so Juma Sajuman ye here, and T. Nipa and now no more can say they all play the role. And T. It is a cocoon in your butu almost so your butu Kolan, so not only in Kolan, but Ghana for Haina, and the idea you know, you know, Bianca, because we're engaging them on a regular basis and sharing ideas and making sure, say, a cocoon in our butu basso, a coma be into him a chew binko. And the idea we just carried out in a diligent manner the president's directives. And just like he's said, you all should do in Ghana, no, let's say Ghana for say, Munti. No, beyond nephew, and I dear president, and because he may be a yen, because if we follow the leader, we'll get to where we want to get to. I think that unfortunately, like the penny I went in the baby called Kofi in 19 in October 2017. A lot of leadership in this world right now, now I sort of inward looking. There are 70 by. The Director General of the World Health Organization, or Kabia, is obedient. I sort of inward looking, obedient. Unfortunately, see, T and us at that time, you know, to say the AT, your president, Asemna, I think say, the world would not have gotten to this situation. It's unfortunate. But I believe that the problem will be solved. Mm. I think that. It's a problem that cannot be solved by one country. We have to work as a collective because my welfare depends on your actions. Your actions determine my well being. Indeed, we all have to hold hands and work together, just like we did in China. And if we do so, we'll be able to solve this problem and solve it in a timely manner. So, we share and grow. Yaria no see say editing America, Italy, Spain, UK. I would say it's, a, it's an issue of leadership. We share Yaria no places like Singapore, South Korea, Japan, Germany. It's also an issue of leadership. Indeed, really, no, we're where we are now, but I believe that the world has to come together and solve this problem and solve it in a timely manner. That is my well, personal view. Because the Ariana Kasa idea eh hum, but near hum that much as the economic impact that is likely to rot on the world. Because he and so mu yeah, what if you know unquel juman? By the time my vessel of Nan Noma be pre I say, the Hona me mum de Mr. Kesi. Your Excellency, I think that that was an excellent uh, submission there. Mamisa Emisa will be um. Uh, say, say, you know, 
Uh, recommendation Ben and I foot Ben are the Ghana for and Ghana men you know, with regards to virus here in a year coming and our office, especially uh, cities are a bit expensive shutdowns. You see, I'm with my family. If you mean, say if it's completely open, they are saying, Okay, no, others can move in and out. But Ghana, if any area, ah, and the president, I should say, yes, that's a shutdown in there and some specific cities. And then I will catch a year. Shutdown is shutdown. You see, and if you are in if you are in Tennessee, 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 you are one time we be out in as a who will be a who could share the next person and now they are signed. If you look at the permutations in the mathematical modulations, um, woman, yeah, one person by the time they be who say, Oh, when you be no, maybe I would assign any probably 100 because and that's why the tracing is important. Mm -hmm. So it's really about containment, isolation, and being able to treat into the. President, I can only come on. Other countries, I'm aware, successful South Korea, China, um, Germany. It's the same. In our panel, my colleague or Germany, because I'm going to say, how come say Germany? No, see, the crisis no cost. But Germany, I can't so much nephew. Obi at nephew. So what I say? But Italy say, me no know more. We go say, what is the problem? They see at nephew no. In the panel, at nephew. Me koto coffee, me koto tea. Na kofa asemaba. Me vuzo obi anti nefi. Now people talk about the bed and medidi. I think the president kasa no kasi umu moto njia ni nke kama yombe timi moto njia ni ba ukwa. To yombe timi edi ni na hoti. Ni se ude bi ya me koto njia ni na me koto we. It is a man focus in the only fridge or the fear. So he say no ahun chere na ba. It is obi a tighten the belt. It is obi a Doctor, now we did, and I said, "If you are not be able, make sure you submit me a job over three, four, five days." China has any? Me make sure you start here, no. So, the secretary, you are not man. I know that we did that for the first two weeks. If you are not man, for the first two weeks, if you are not man, you are not man. Needing shelves kitchen because they be able to come fridge, no one can have me. But any idea, I am not prepared. But we had to. So they say we had to. In the case of be a Iran. The president I can put tighten on belt because you need the resources to say other countries as a are any team change. The bit in me assume into a area which you could create say Italy, in France, UK. See, see, oh, you know, more break into the president I can in a this will be a this will be a the bonnet home by the me meeting me. I can, your excellency, I better say, and also, yeah, I say to me about Abasu for that good job. Because I'm part when the president and your dream moment containing Ghana for good China, I'm sure saying your case not won't be any different from Italy. Any other countries are they were quick to call back their citizens when the outbreak in Eba, you know. So I know on that note, we really have to thank you. But there's one correction. So we are so genuine. Our general case idea, we do it. So what I say in the moment. Officer, I said, "Be You don't have a you don't have to say anything. Exactly. And they say, "No, I say, Ghana, you're in Tennessee, you're in Tennessee." And one yet 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 to me. They just imagine how I do. So no matter how many phone we have in Asi, we move in our Obia and the chef. I'm in Kwanza. Me, I'm paying phone number because Obia is here and the chef. What can we do? I'm not going to make sure. One question. Also, um, after the statement he made about. The general instructions say one more and yet they have to comply on them. But my thinking is that as the representative of the president in China, no, he has more access to data information, and so he would brief the president on what steps to take and what not to take. In that regard, what were the pointing factors that Obejina Sudia to Mampani for to say, "Oh, Yama Ghana suku for enkaha." No, no, cry there. Make a no cry. You start here, no. 
China focus in na entina ham. That was our position as an embassy and also as a Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But later, so be I nipa America for the four munipako, Italy for the four munipako, will be ever for nipako, nay and quiet and colon. Then people started raising the year before in Tiana, say any say any say. And to me, so true, I mean, a sign. To me, Miss Mikache, the minister and the president say, Well, Teddy, I didn't see Connie be a CM by and colon and co. To honor. You catch a president, the president say, Yeah, man, in dinner home. So, if you don't want to friend, or say, No, or not to watch our dealing in our food, say the best decision is what the Chinese are saying at that time. In Tia Mankola and Nintina. And he takes responsibility for it. So, that's what he said. So, okay, and I just say, As soon as you see a Kubu to want to say a Kukuni, you make sure I say, Decision, Ubia, Colabia, Honka, Ghana, and Nubia, and Inca. It is Miss Mesu, make sure my soldier for me known by Ejuma. A bini, so what I say. And a debia is your butum colana susa. In Tinanya, one person's job, it was a collective effort. But the decision to stay there, it was the president's decision. Uh, Your Excellency, my idea, Papa, 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 Ghana, and now your bomber basso, and no dear make another. So it's your Ghana media, out to say, a one, a Yibia. Uh, only president Abu Maye with Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the Kikamwa. Me, me, who's a penny for a boy, a binny, a Dr. Pessy. Dr. Pessy, a quite a good morning or good evening if you are in China. I made it. Uh, uh, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon in China. <laughs> you yeah. are one of the, 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 the doctors who volunteered to help during the outbreak, and also you were a student and a doctor in uh, China. L let me ask you, what was the motivation? So for you to volunteer in a foreign land in times like this, when everybody's trying to shield and protect themselves from the virus. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I, would, I would want to, uh, first of all, say hi to everyone listening in and uh, a very good morning. Um, um, as, as you already mentioned, uh, I'm a medical student. Um, I'm studying my PhD in surgery now. And um, over here, it, it, I didn't work exactly or directly in the hospital. But then I, uh, I volunteered to work on one of the uh, lockdown checkpoints. Uh, now, basically, the motivation started from the fact that um, um, as medical students, I mean, at this time, uh, this is when uh, we have to show up and uh, perform our duties as, as we've already been in this um, field for quite some time. Um, initially, um, our school had already stopped us from uh, joining in or uh, taking part in any hospital duties because they wanted to protect um, all the PhD and, and postgraduate students available. So uh, during one of our deliveries when um, our ambassador, uh, I, would, I would want to use this opportunity to say thank you to ambassador um, for, for his help during this, during this period because it was him and um, uh, Dr. Ama Edwin and uh, some of the, 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 the important help that they had given to us during this period. Um, when we had received, when we had received um, packages from from um, from the um, from the embassy that was sent in from Ghana, um, especially at the beginning it was the nose mask. It was around that period that I decided to go into one of the communities where um, the Ghanaian, some of the Ghanaian students are located. And uh, during my, my my trip to that place, you realize that over here in China, during the lockdown, we had checkpoints. Now these checkpoints just it, it 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 closes up every community so it is just like uh, an example of what we have as a watchdog what we used to have i don't know if it's still there as watchdog committee uh, watchdog members now these checkpoints are made up of not even military men or policemen as we have it but uh, they are made up of the community people themselves trying to protect the the community itself now when i got to this checkpoint i was not allowed to get in because i don't live in the community and you need a pass to be able to um, to be able to have access into the community, so it was at that moment that I was talking to one of the the, the checkpoint guys. They were like, "You need to stand on the side. You need to go on uh, go aside and then uh, call whoever is supposed to receive the the nose mask to come out and pick it up." So uh, whilst I was waiting, I realized that one foreigner was coming out of the of the community, and they were having uh, a little a slight issue. With, with the with the people at the gates because of the language barrier that is there. So um, I, I opted to help to communicate with them and 
it was that time that uh, the guys who work at the at the checkpoint were like, okay, if you can help us communicate, because there are over 200, there are over 200 foreigners living in that community. If you can help us uh, come and work here with us, so that you talk to them when they come out, so that you teach them the new rules that the government has have, have set up, um, the new policies that are available, the fact that you need to have a you need to have something, some sort of like a pass before you exit your community. You can go out once every three days. And the only purpose why you're going out should be because you're going to prob probably get some uh, food items or something and then come back. So it was at that time that uh, I, was, I was offered the opportunity to help. And I mean, I was around and uh, not, not having enough to do medically as, 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 as it's supposed to be what I'm supposed to do at the moment. So mm -hmm. I opted into help. Now, um, the main purpose or, or our main duties at that, at, at that time was to be at the checkpoint and then uh, communicate with all the foreigners, foreigners that came in and out, not just Ghanaians, but then also other foreigners from other nationalities, tell them the new policies that the, the Chinese government have set up, um, explain to them what, 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 the, what, what, what these policies are, try and educate them on, on one or two things that they need to understand and know within this period. And uh, aside doing, this was basically where the motivation came in. And I realized that it helped a lot. Uh, over here in my city, we didn't record one case with, uh, one case with any foreigner infected. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a plus and it's a win for all of us. So, yeah. Okay, sorry, I got off. Thank you very much, Dr. Percy. If I may ask, um, um, you, your healthcare providers already um, widely affected and uh, the pandemic, during the pandemic. Um, will you continue to um, dispassionately, um, whatever was happening there, would you say uh, the medical frontliners will keep going despite the news that you're getting affected and all of that? I think I lost connection a little bit, but let me add this. You guys are going to keep on helping the people in China. Uh, I believe I believe that the the help that has started is 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 as I was saying is just our responsibility now. I think um, our ambassador made a reference to to the fact that uh, they those at the embassy are the soldiers of the president. Now um, at this moment in time, uh, we as medical uh, practitioners are the are the are the soldiers on the field now. I I made this reference to. Uh, one very important man in my life i told he was like uh, you're going out to work aren't you putting yourself at risk your family is worried and so on and i was like if i was a soldier and this was a war uh, i would have to go and attend i would have to join in anyway so i think each medical personnel right now is is poised to to go out and and and, and do perform their duty um there is one oath that we say um this this is the hippocratic oath and and I'll, I'll just want to read a quote, quote, quote in there. It says that I will treat to help the sick accordingly to my able, able judgment, but will never with a view of injury or wrongdoing. So whilst you start the medical school, you, you, are, you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are taught to understand these basics. So at this point in time, I think all medical personnel would, would do their best to rush in to go on board. Now, um, whilst the medical personnel are moving in, uh, I believe it is, it is each and every individual's duty. It is our responsibility as citizens back in our country to, to be of support to them. Um, I, I, I think we all understand the fact that we, these medical per personnel have the option to stay home with their family because they have families to where they can actually stay in and then like, I mean, be with them, but they sacrifice to get in to come to the hospital. So I, I, I guess would, would, would use this opportunity to, to say that if you find yourself going to the hospital in any way um please do your best to to support these medical personnel that are that are there it is it is a little support that we give to them that would encourage them to do more because this is one huge sacrifice that they are putting in a lot of a lot of medical personnel have lost their lives in some other countries even china recorded some cases and and i believe it is it is us the citizens our encouragement and and how we speak to them People will be tense when they get to the hospital. They want to do, they want everything to be done for them quickly because they are scared. But it is time for us to calm down, do in our, in our own way, support them. And I believe they will, they will equally reciprocate on this. And uh, not, notwithstanding this, I would also want to say that most medical personnel now are also encouraged by the things that our leaders are putting in place. 
And uh, as we all know, Nanado has, has done so much within this period. I, I have been following with all his um, State of the Nations address and, and everything that uh, he, he says all the time and the, the encouragement, the zeal and how you see, how, how much you, you, you feel that he, he is poisoning, he's down to make sure that this thing is eradicated and it doesn't affect the Ghanaian individual or even the economy. But then we all come out of this together. And I believe it is time that we also understand that this is equally what China did to, this, this is what China did actually to, to, to make this um, a possibility. They supported the government and then the system and everything that they had put in place. Um, people, people came together as one people. And I think it is time that we, we, we follow and, and understand these basic things that our leader, Nanado, our president, has put down. And, and, and I'll just say kudos and I, I, I pray that he continues and he pushes on with, with, with this, 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 this zeal that he has. All right, and see, I think we're joining a conversation now. Uh, happy 98.9 FM and our super so with you know we are having a conversation about COVID-19 dealing with the challenges a dialogue with Ghanaians in China and so we welcome you to the conversation I think I don't we'll figure out which one is right across our net two TV Oman FM Ash FM I will come say uh sounds our ETV Ghana across our in social media platforms in the and he also with me a journey conversation with your questions on some of the issues we are talking about this morning. Dr. Percy, I, I will stay a bit longer uh, with you as to the dangers you had to go through as a, a doctor in times of crisis when there's a shutdown. You've already explained the motivation, but what was the feeling like when you woke up every morning and you saw the danger and yet you had to face it. Um, basically, it's, it's, it's our job. Um, it's difficult because every time I, I moved out in the morning, I, my, I, I feel like where I was stationed at was not as, as tough as those at the hospital because those at the hospital have more to do with patients coming in. But also exposing yourself because everybody is at home. But then I decide, uh, deciding to like stay in a in a in a checkpoint makes it at the checkpoint makes it very difficult because you don't know who you might meet within that time and um it, it is it is it is a, a whole lot of scare because uh i live here with with my family and also i get i, I got calls from back at home uh trying to 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 make sure that i'm fine uh my mother actually is a is a, is a nurse and uh, she had to call me once on a video call and check if i'm dressed properly uh, in in my medical in, in 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 anything to protect me and I had to send her a picture and and uh, it it wasn't easy because you you feel the, the the that that sort of fear that what if I go out this time and I actually bring in something to 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 my wife here or or anything of that sort and and it 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 is that scare but uh, at this moment and at this point in time I think uh, the survival of 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 us as a human race and individuals is, is the most important thing. And doctors are the soldiers of this particular period. It, it, is, it, is, it is our responsibility to defend the fort as, as, as our soldiers would do when we, they are supposed to. So um, that is one thing that motivated me and the fact that I, know, I knew that uh, a lot of things had been put in place by the government to make sure that a lot of important structures have been put in place by the government. And I can see uh, the Ghanaian uh, government and, and Nanado mimic that in a lot of things that he, uh, a lot of his speech and every, a lot of things that he does. And it is just our encouragement that these things are, are, are pushed on and we continue to practice them. Uh, we as individuals too, we have the, 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 the right to also um, understand that this is our time to, to stand in for Ghana. It is a whole Ghana situation right now. It is nothing about some political affiliation or, or the other political affiliation, and it is just how we can come together to fight this disease as one, as one, as one people. Now, my final question before I move to uh, Samson has to do with the level of cooperation you enjoyed from both the Ghanaian embassy and then the Chinese authorities. How was it? 
for the level of cooperation, I I think it was it was top notch. I would say I um I it, it is great to understand that every time you go out and as uh, and you're doing something and 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 you see other people from other countries, especially our embassy and our ambassadors work. They always ask you what is happening. What is your embassy doing? And we've heard of numerous examples where uh, other other embassies were were looking into to 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 get some of the ideas that were were being used to to manage the students that are here. And um, it it is it is of great importance to note that no Ghanaian in China uh, was infected by this due to these measures that were taken. And and this was basically because while the embassy was 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 trying to communicate with us, our ambassador would 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 talk to us, the Ghanaian community, once every week. Uh, we have our national, our Ghanaian community national president, Mr. Peter Wada. He would also come in and he he encourages us. He calls and he, he's on to try and make sure that everybody is is in touch with what is happening. Uh, the, the the Chinese government also put in place a lot of measures. And um, one of the measures that I would want, to, two of the measures actually that I would want to talk about that I think uh, we should adapt is, uh, the first thing is, the, is one thing that has to do with uh, our pharmacy systems. Now, during this time of, of this um, virus period, um, the pharmacies that we have are not allowed to sell any sort of um, NSAs or drugs that can, can inhibit or decrease uh, your temperature if you have a fever. They are not permitted to do that. So that means that anybody that comes to these pharmacies, you are directed to go to the hospital to get treatment so that you, you can be tested if to, to find out if you have this or not. So um, I, I believe that is one thing that uh, we can also look into. At this moment, we, 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 we should encourage people to get tested if they have uh, fever, right? So that when they report to our pharmacies, they don't they are, they are not given like some sort of drugs that can decrease their temperature, they go, they sit in for two or three days, they end up spreading it to other people that are close to them because they feel like maybe it might just be malaria or something. And then also, um, I, heard, I heard from the, uh, the leader of the Ministry of Education, I, uh, Ministry of Health, I think, uh, concerning, about, uh, concerning how um, he, uh, they, they've encouraged all medical personnel to think COVID-19 first every time patients come in. And I think um, I would encourage that, that they, they, they continue to do that and look into that more often. Um, the second thing that I would want to talk about is the fact that uh, the government, the Chinese government has set in uh, rules to encourage people to use uh, nose masks, nose masks. And I want to talk about this um, and stress and, and ponder upon it because uh, I think the World Health Organization had, uh, has already provided his, his, his views and his thoughts on the nose mask issue. But then the reason why the Chinese government enforced it so much is because uh, they realized that sometimes some people might have the virus without symptoms. And then that means that if they are walking around, they might be able to, they might equally speak to people or come in contact with people. And hence they encourage people to use their nose masks properly. If, I, if there was enough time, I would go through, I have a few here, I would want to go through how to use them. But then I would want to say that it is important that Ghanaians start using nose masks. It is very, very important because if you, if you if at least you know that you are protecting yourself, just in case the, your your friend who is who is just close to you might have it or not, so so that we don't we don't take the risk of saying that okay it is just people who are having it that should wear it. Prevention, as we say, is better than cure. We need to put in more effort to 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 understand the importance and also decrease the stigmatization of people who are who who are being uh, uh, pressured. When I I heard that uh, some people would, would would frown at you when they when they see you with a nose mask on especially when you're in a public space or when you're in a trotro or anything. I just, I just want, would want to, to, to put enough understanding on it that let's understand that each and every one of us wants to protect each other equally. Now, if, if you're not wearing it and someone is wearing it, you might as well do your best to encourage the person to wear it rather than uh, discourage them in any way and, and look at them and frown at them in any way. And we also need to most importantly learn how to wear them so that we don't we don't contaminate them if if that if if we are putting them on and as we've been saying wash your hands frequently and then also if you can't wash your hands and you're in public make sure you have some your your hand sanitizers on and then you use them these these are these are basic steps and basic um and principles and simple education that the chinese government put out and and, and pushed on like it was it is every citizen's responsibility 
to prompt people when you see them in public. If if I, I remember I had two times, I, I was like, there were two times when I had seen uh, some other people around, Ch some Chinese people actually, without those masks. And then I have some, I had some on me, so I just would have to take them out and then say, just wear it so you protect your friends, you protect even yourself right. against it, yeah. Thank you very much uh, for the submission. I should be moving to Mr. Samson Opoku in a bit, but I'd want to dash to Ambassador Edward Boateng for a question about uh, an issue which uh, Percy raised, which has to do with the report that no Ghanaian contracted the disease. What were the systems put in place in terms of communication, in terms of uh, supply of food, and then the basic logistics that Ghanaians in China needed? I think on the logistics, Mr. Abu Osman will talk about it, but briefly, mm. our communication was very clear. As Percy said, we set up a virtual communication system um, just like we're doing now on Zoom. So every other day, I was talking to the entire Ghanaian community, the students and the broader Ghanaian community. In addition to that, we had um, the systems that the Chinese people had put in place. But the overall credit should also go to the Ghanaian community themselves. People were disciplined. People took the messages, absorbed them, and did what they were supposed to do. So I think we worked as a collective. And as I have said, and as I think Percy said, my welfare depends on your action. Your action determines my well-being. We are collective. And that's how we work together. And that's how we can combat this virus. So in terms of the measures, I mean, I think the discipline and the clarity of messaging was important. I mean, every two days we would have these meetings. In addition to that, I put myself on all the platforms, so did Mr. Abu, Dr. Ama Edwin, whom we thank very much because she was joining us from Ghana most of the time. It was during her bedtime, talking to the students, talking to the people. And whenever anybody had a problem, we went in immediately to try and resolve it. So as Dr. Percy has talked about, the community involvement. You immediately go in and try and so Ubeboa. You see, I think it's that collective effort. And I think that's what the South Koreans have used, Singapore has used, the Germans have used, the Chinese have used. That is what works because it's very contagious. And as um, Dr. Percy said, you know, if you get out of your house and you are not wearing the mask, somebody will prompt you, somebody you don't know. Because sometimes people forget, you know, but in terms of our logistics moving around, our chief coordinator on logistics was Mr. Abu Osman. So I think he would put more light on that. Thank you. All right, thank you Ambassador for the quick response to that question. But let me quickly move to uh, Mr. Samuel Opoku, the new president in Wuhan. Good morning, Samuel. I don't think he can hear you. OPK. Mr. Poku. Can you hear us? OPK, your mic. Your mic is off. People in particular. Most of the sessions lasted between an hour and two hours. But a few people, it took about three hours for me to break. But once they trusted me, then they kept referring people. So I think for me, the ultimate thing was knowing that I wasn't, I think some of them thought I was an agent planted by the government and just as a yeah, they many more more brebre, no more say, yeah, because say yeah, my psychologist ain't I mean someone even said that say, oh, you see me can so say oh dear funny say government need the psychologist about not so we hear psychological help and into one yeah, because one yeah nature say you are cutting your nose to spite your face. But it took time, but as I said, once they got my trust. 
most of the referral. OPK, ni wanka, and yeah, oh yeah, I know I send the WeChat. <laughs> HE, most of the referrals from him, Mr. Um, Abu, the other student leaders who are not on this platform, were really looking out of for their welfare. What I also realized that apart from what I was doing, connectedness was important. They really looked out for each other. They really did. So every now and then someone will call and say, oh, OPK called me or someone will say, I put something on a WhatsApp chat and Gloria spoke to me or Gloria said this. So they were looking out for each other, even in terms of food. I know that there were some, if you be well, Tomatoes, will be with Jane, they will be with carrots, will be with we. No more near the annual boom because they be a one quarter won't toast a crown any day, no, won't to me in fine yes, but in camp boom more year, no, it means they physically they couldn't see each other, but then they were engaging. And those in the communities, in fact, OPK school, no, so several of the people that I dealt with who had serious issues, some of them were medical students, others were doing other courses. But imagine, so we are medical students. I, not me, me go school or Kolibu, and I worked in Kolibu for years. In see, Kolibu so, several schools, Ewoho, Bawuhu Hospital, and some of them were in dorms. Uh, initially, I didn't start, they would say, for a hospital, pa, yeah, the body snoop, he cry, me home, but eventually they locked that entrance. In see, now it's not just knowing, says that pandemic, Ewoho, but would you were new, would you were so, et but eventually they were also able to look at ways of dealing with because how you handle stress is so important and i know say um i went to have yes i'm a medical doctor but i also say say psychologists are a vital part in any pandemic and they shouldn't be left out because i'll tell you we have a pandemic which is a medical problem a public health problem but it's also a psychological problem because how people see it how people talk about it, how people even lock down the ayetin. So be and snip, you will be uh, adhere to the rules that they are supposed to. Uh, Nina are uh, things that psychologists can help. So I know that now they are on board, but initially it's as if right here in Ghana, they were left out of the picture. And that is what China did, the mission. Because I remember when Ambassador Watkins spoke to me, or see students, they saw so we here would be psychologists at Obebuam. So once the students presented it, he presented it to his minister and I got a call and I came in. So right in the beginning, when I went in, the initial discussion was even repatriation, not, sorry, not repatriation, it's evacuation. But even at that time when they were asking for a psychologist, they saw the need and provided. So for the bigger Ghanaian community, I'll say that there are psychologists that every facility has been I can say on authority, say all the regional hospitals and several of the other teaching hospitals are more psychologists. Even now, there are numbers that are out there that you can call, welfare hotlines, no, I'm to make connect to those in quarantine hotels. All of this is being taken care of because if you don't manage the stress, it can hurt you. Normally, we are free to move. Oko baby, our pegana, yeah, freedom, pa. We take it for granted only until it be our baby now, who say, and yet the same. Some of us will have to go to work, but I know that even going to work is not easy. Who will ID? Who will doctor sticker? But the police bitch now, it be so question. And now, I will not say the park will be so ID. No cry. Then stand here and wait to So all these, even those of us in the front line, still have some of these things. So it's important that we know that these are stressful times. But the good thing is that this is not going to last forever. And we mm. have to have a positive attitude, be there. That social connection, we do a lot of social media. Let's do. now it's like right on our laps what would you advise people here in ghana to do in terms of our anxiety
for instance, you've been stopped by a police. There's someone who's never met the police or the military man in his or her life. And then even the panic alone of being stopped in the middle of the road to be inspected and be questioned. Talk less of whether the person has touched how many cars, how many cars, how many human beings before touching his or her cars. There are people who originally need freaks. And so what would you advise, especially people here in Ghana? So in, in, in terms of how to deal with anxiety, protect mm. your mind gates. I'll talk about that before I talk about the fiscal. Protect your mind gate. There's so much information out there, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You have a control in what you read. If you're on social media, don't make your setting to download everything, especially videos and audios, automatically so that you can control. If you are reading something, find out the source. Is this credible? Who is saying this? Can you go and check? And don't be so eager to forward things. I always have an issue with when people forward things, like you challenge and they say, I just forwarded it. I mean, in other countries, people have been sued for libel and slander because of things they forwarded on social media. Once you push that forward button, you are attesting to what it is. It. And oftentimes, people wouldn't even... People wouldn't even have um, listened to what they are forwarding or even read it. So please control that mind gate. When you find that you are getting anxious, calm down. In fact, our bigger problem or the way I see it, if we don't handle it well, we can have a pandemic of fear and that will cause may um, a lot more mayhem than mm -hmm. the virus itself. So when you are afraid, Stop and breathe. Literally, taking a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Tell wow. yourself it is well. Calm down. We all need to do it because in the moment, you can forget that this is something that if you don't calm down, it will actually make it worse. Who do you talk to? If there's someone, anytime you talk to, you feel stressed, don't talk to them. I think that you will have the opportunity now. Someone is forwarding something and you find that air stress. So, blocking Nipakono on WhatsApp. Blocking Nipakono. Because time, Diana, we will say Nipako, we or Fred will cry now, we yam shishu, because we will call na complaints and answer say. This is not the time to have any additional stress. Already, say, it is stressful. It is stressful. And I think it's probably more stressful for those of us who go to work. I can share an example. Last Friday, I have two boys. I have two because schools are closed. I have a microwave. And then I call mommy. The light is off, so we can microwave. And I realized that and Kola we don't want to say yeah, yeah, mo crani, you need to say the be can say a wujaso. So what did I do? So I was able to round up what I was doing at work. Me and were UGMC, and then we have a good canteen there, buy food and then come home. These are unforeseen circumstances. Me nim say my yeah ma or um a jiani waho, so they can eat. For those of us who are even on the front line, our stress level is different. But you may be at home, and now Adriane Noa, Edia Debia Unims, also a mobaga, it lasted one week because in Colano Beko School, they say, Oh, who will fear? Ain't a lot of the stress that we are going to have as parents, and especially as women, is managing the resources. Thankfully, all the markets haven't been closed. You see a bit to me, Akodia. But Edia before me, you didn't care about Friday and Mono or Panon or Bebu Edia and Fau because a sign or Betubi. But I say no, we need to be crowd because shop now yet on now shop me a bee in the hole. Into you have going yeah. to have to manage that. Or well, stress level co higher normally, it is those under us and uh, yeah, yeah, we jump on them. Into be a will be. be and uh, Uber came with good news. So, now we can be making me deal with one of the Ghanaian communities. One man shared his experience. Say, well, who says they say, Bibi Kakrebia, Nani Buefu, na Okemo, Okemo, Gu, Ne Maneso, and I say, Nere cry, or say, a do baby cry, and I feel there, Ne Bani Huna first, or Baba Daddy, Daddy, no, to say, I call Nani Huna, no, a bobbin, because Bibi Kakrebia, no, I came with good news. So, now we can say, the good thing is that what recognizes say, you are stressed, because who quit, Juma? You are on lockdown, and so also with your bills. 
It's not like you're suspended. So we were locked down into one chair or rent one chair away into one name to be 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 boom and answer you be to all these things. So it was very stressful. People who come up and you may only want you to share with from Colano a little time. But see, Ghana for people who are home, you on the discussion platform, people are really respecting teachers now because eh, be a yama a Colano homework akra says supervise it. Nya wo ye no kra wo huano. And as Obi Wan no Krana who issue and a lot more people will be working for home. So these are some of the things we have to recognize and know that there are things that matter. There are things that in the longer run don't matter. Okay, Yama Kolano homework. We into me and stop arise. A colano or class two, class three. A colano throw was to cry. Life is what matters. I would True. rather say we be focus it on your parenting skills and manage your stress than insisting that the children do right. I mean, sometimes, look, I don't face it. And right, and you may, may, and call out, no, and you may, 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 I mean, but is it a big deal? I was going to and say, ah, we had a tank as a baby, but we can say, so we can talk about it. But I'm saying this because I know that women tend to stress yeah. about this. Yeah. I, I myself am learning because on a program a few uh, last week, I talked about stress, managing stress at home. Say the same, I call it, 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 I call One morning, I call it, Kitchen six o'clock. No one to be named. Normally, men can't share no. Into be business here, but that day I was so stressed because now I was also getting calls from all over. Say Saturday, me kunyan in the song koto in running good. Now me kuno share me ni no bit time say. Which side of the bed did I sleep on? And then I laughed and I realized really. So and me teaching stress, man. So he would say that. Wow, just a human. Exactly, exactly. It makes me human. So, based on what I learned and how I mismanaged that episode last, it said, Minyan in the six o'clock Saturday, they said, On Koto and Fan ran on Koto being no more outside. This time, me fifty seven thirty on sorry, chance in it, Menyanino. And you're big deal. So, you need to focus. You need to focus on what matters. Otherwise, you will literally tear your hair out. They need you calm. The children are looking at us. So parents who are at home, it is difficult, but you can do it. And mm. one of the things that has personally helped me is social capital. You see, we work with people, we live with people, and I want to say, say sometimes, you know, many people are but I've been so busy. Now me work products, but even time to cook. But Arabi, Arabi, Bia, on the mix now, eh? My miss, my name say wash. My miss, say wash. Your miss shall say to on the mix sister. Kitwa nete awo. But I called and said, "Charlie, my young hotu. We to me and mama, me and Benue and Biani man. On bar Saturday, on be Biani and Biani on through to Sunday, me no koe. Ufu say so on the mix now, eh? No, me ye na ayaka ayaka dia. Enka me watch ni me. Me to me a friend. So social capital, mean to mean cost shopping. My brother-in-law was the one who went to buy all these food items for me because I was so busy. My banana shops, no. So this is the time to help. So some of us are in a position to help others. Ebiya, we will be to me a mobisika. Ebiya, we will be to me a tonyama biya. Ebiya, we will be to me a encouragement. But social distancing doesn't mean that we shouldn't connect socially. So if you are in a position to send food to someone, do that. If you are in a position to send money to someone, do that. Look, people are hard. Just last week, me best be na me say me tour mop. It was a bucket. And I a branch be airport war. Maybe I'll fuck up Ministry of Foreign Affairs to put it in or so. In the ODC me car ni mono and a twenty pesos a da for me. No, see, madam, but your twenty pesos here a da for me. Make me the atones here. And sign a me and him, me rare who pie. Now, see, car me one woman, me hono, no matter what, dear, maybe come up into the catcher, me can say, Ah, I wish I could give him money, me can say, Ah, and cause this, he can't, and I want me hono, maybe man and uncle, me freno. Now, on sending me mobile money because 20 pesos coin that I make up for me, who you or the address, you some say, Madame Pacho, me to me, afa, 
na me dia to nsuo enko fo bo yes won ho say me bi waka ko sine is a zali so say say no onya social help no na ye lock it down say say akra some cities have actually been locked down say na obetu ye ko say ye manage the lockdown i feel be be na so wo ha whether or show symptoms or not for the fear of stigmatization and isolation in on person of the kwa kwa test you know be be na so lockdown no what we and you used to it i can say i'm locked down i don't what how should we manage the isolation okay. and the lockdown testing psychologically you see, i i will i will start with omomoko hospital i work in a facility university of ghana medical center at lagos we've had patients coming in now and other facilities are omoba because of stigma no omo can try initially say bia me to kwan na say me si obi ani say inti me pa um cho we are putting our lives as doctors as psychologists as nurses as far as healthcare people are putting our lives at risk for you mo ba mo kan o kran chey we will not mistreat you we will treat you with dignity and respect i know say people are stigmatizing people you know first no now to kwan ya we your boga but they say and cross way to kwan for mo pese or mo be can because of that but say wo ban in tem na wo ka chey ya tem na ya testing in tem na ya hu say wo yare ni bia we can put measures in place your chances are far much better yare be brain no unless they will show symptoms no at the same you say oba nyim na obi say say o nyim na say or say o me nyim ma you say ntisa by that na ban chi na bo akoko e be pie but one she here e bi a wo covid 19 no e be pie no na e do a chire na ye ntumi nya ntumi pa mo cho nya me enim me sremo a mo ko hospital na mo nka no kre say mo nyim mo a mo nyim ba ma mo nsheda and try atra because musro say doctor no be kiki mu and as a nurse no be kiki mu jb ye pa mo chow and in managing the lockdown no these are some of the things that we can do in life you might be wahwa a year within our control a be wahwa a year your control and i mean my example of what you read on social media radio stations be brie wahwa when you need in a one thing you are more can that is within your control but to say him run so one crime who come out what time i work as well also with nephew unless all your essential service are you are required to be there and to yet nephew you know yeah who say yeah boy young casa yeah home by because already know yeah when you are a friend of community spread and to say young nephew president say when we fear a bunch in your doorstep is the landline to your enemies is the one to nephew now we'll step it out uh, it increases your chances of getting infected and in fact oh to nephew what nephew they now be to me a year a beer they be a no mommy i won't even talk about the elite who children have their rooms and things let's talk about the scenario a journey and now and in kolai what i'm back home and our chamber and hall normally daytime no will be any hope but this is going to be crowded. Yeah. How do you manage it? Normally, it's in a fear. I want to to say China say initially they could walk around the house. They do baby near so would me. But so far, no. Yes, it may be. It is all of them. That's what should be the one. Only to me a fear. I want to. But you still have to maintain the social distance. What's in a fear? Who be who say? Nipa who flow on them? A lot of couples will have issues. It happened in China. Inti se se ni pa na ibi anka unhu no short short unhu no all the time uki kemo guno so who say uki kemo guno so a eden tokwa beba enra madam fu bakwa or no so ye juma in domestic violence I do say in this era ama people are calling me about it you know me say yes it is going to go up because if you don't control your anger ne ibi awa first no eh oh baby ubu fu ano wa bobi wa bobi se se ibu fu no stress no ewo haya inti wa nshi ya ube ye eno eno mo inti the police also need to get a dedicated line because they are going to get calls of domestic violence going up but you can control yourself they be a me can say how many of us na ye ni ejuma mu a ye mpenyu fo betumi they talk down to us they more treat us they are condescending but unless you are really ready to walk out of the job you control yourself because you know that literally your life is in that person's hands that person has the ability to determine your future at work in the same way we must learn to control our anger so we fu pa now be can be bia tobo kind 1 to 10 take your time yeah 1 to 3 4 5 no 1 
two, three, pace yourself. By the time I'll be do ten, no, no one back down, Kaka. Now, be sound who say, I somehow wave where we kick a boot the bay, etchna, will it matter? Say, Yamin Penguini Pacoy or Tosia, and as one sorry. Will you want that to be the last thing? When we think through these issues like this, and my you who say, Oh, where you bomb me, where you see me, where you come here, you're the contour quano, and moi, and to say, Say, you will fear. Yen trodo. Yen she yen who cry. Say, Gianina ye, dear, yen my yen manning, Yadofon Casabia first, no, and now will be to me, Yamini, but they say, Lockdown, President, say for now a two weeks so it will be reviewed. A B after two weeks, ni be to me a co baby, a be a yen to me. Inti even markets, no, you be a nebe, ten inti yen spread out things so that we won't be under too much pressure. Children can adapt, they are resilient. You'll be surprised, say, in Colan who say, Oh, say, say, yeah, I come and yeah, come put now, but these challenges are that A, B, C, and D. Some of us who went through a and the 83, there were times that look, Ube, Unia, Doc, no, no, crowd, and you see, but that is all. But you knew, said, this was not your everyday situation, this is an extraordinary time with Hashem. So you learn to adjust, but we must talk to the children. If you are a family and you are having challenges, finances, sit with the children and let them know that before we could have all this, but now we can't. Rather than shouting, we will complain. That will not help. It will stress the children and it will make us more stressed. If you know, Let's tune in to things that are relaxing. The program now we see with Sylvia. Ni ebe ma we ni aje ni ebe ma wasre. Enye ni ebe ma ehu abeshe umu. Eh yesi ni pasi duwe wow. Yesi se se gana se 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 se. Eh then ni amiti ya kwa ni se yesi kushisha Bible na umu se we eche o Bible ma odi egu kapu di si egu so no one no. I mean all sorts of things are out there, but at the end of the day no se ye kai se. We su a bit trouble. Yam me can ye home. Minjuma may be proud to yes to can ye home. Mope to tupa. You have to encourage yourself. So, would she yammy dear? This is the time I also wish you who cry. Send ye busy beano. We yammy or come home. A person may not be there, but yammy will be there. Sometimes, what do we need to or deeper be so? Nipa noon to me, want to rather say, Oh, so. You'll be surprised at the people who normally wouldn't call you, who would call and do that. So let's encourage ourselves in this moment. But if you also need psychological help, there are lines there that you are called. I know that some of the lines yeah. are already in the public domain. That we'll you put, can call. You put those, we'll put some of those lines out there. there. But Don, yes. let me ask yes. my final question and I'll hand over to uh, Samuel. Samuel, uh, I know you're on standby. Let me, finally, is it true that the longer people stay in the quarantine center, they tend to experience post traumatic stress disorder and depression? Is it true? Oh, it is true. You know where quarantine, um, quarantine comes from? Quarantine usually is like typically from the required 40 days. So before ships that went into a harbor would be dug because it was known that sometimes they carry diseases. So for that 40 days, you were there. And if there's no disease that shows, everything will come out. So right from antiquity, right from this, there has been several studies that show that the longer the people stay in lockdown, the more likely they are to get depressed or even have post-traumatic stress syndrome. There are disorders. There are some people who are really um, claustrophobic. So if they are in a very small enclosed space, no more stay. And to what I will encourage you say, who will fear back who a single room, be a one puma. Sometimes just stand in the window because seeing the four walls alone can really be tough. And now you move be so your psychological problems that into this time now is going to make it worse. The good thing with what some of us do and is shown in China, I've done over 70 hours of therapy time on online, which I saw who was psychological problem. Know that you are more vulnerable. Say you be a diagnosis with depression, that and there actually is well bipolar day. 
a day that is set aside to talk about bipolar disorder. And you see, there are people who have that, there are people who have schizophrenia, people who drink. Normally, if there are most people will take or drink socially. Now we are going to have people drink more. One who of you. Unless they are closing beer, but because that's how some people deal with stress. So mental health disorders are going to go up. But I encourage you, if you have your doctor's number, your psychiatrist number, your psychologist number, your mental health nurse's number, your community mental health number, call them. Let them talk to you. If you need medication refill, they can talk to a pharmacy. In fact, most of the chips compound and district hospitals will still work. You need to take your medication because you are extra vulnerable if you are locked down and you have a history of mental disorder. So let's take care of ourselves, especially today as we celebrate World Bipolar Day so that we can really... Um, maintain our wellness it is very important it is very important hello we'll see our hand say happy 98.9 fm and a special edition of the happy morning show a course live on net 2 tv live or etv ghana live on your social media platforms in uh you discuss it uh, issues to do with coronavirus. How are Union Ma or more China for more handle situation or China China uh, go through devastating period? Uh, and then Yanko Padamuti, they have started opening their doors. My main shift your attention to a year, Minya Abu Osman. Now, many in the and Komokaka. Abu, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So, sir, so you can say lockdown and I say quarantine. Uh, you've experienced it. I see anything that measures, you know, send a number to Kremu and I say it to Kremu. Thank you very much. Thank you, Samuel and Abedi. And uh, thank you, your cherished uh, viewers and listeners, as well as my co panelists. Um, thank you. Um, I think OPK, Dr. Fessi, and then uh, Dr. Ahmed Edwin has put you off on the uh, quarantine. She just gave us the genesis of quarantine. So let, let me just give you the, uh, the Chinese experience here. Let's, I think we should also separate between lockdown and quarantine. In China, uh, Wuhan or Hubei was locked down. Uh, they couldn't go out of, 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 of the city. And then some of them couldn't, even in the school, some of them couldn't go out of their, their, their compound. And then certain non-essential services were, were closed. Okay, that is the lockdown. But then even though the other cities like Beijing and other places were not under lockdown, the, most of them Maybe they were they did some partial lockdown. Most of them were quarantined. And if you know China, most of the they have this huge uh, compound and uh, it's gated. In in most of the, the those communities, they have cards. You have to have a card to go out. Now, when the cases started in, in the for instance, in places in Beijing, you couldn't go out. You would have to stay, and sometimes you have to tell uh, your landlord or some designated people, you give them your shopping list, and then they go and do your shopping for you. Now, if, if you perhaps, you perchance misplace that card, you wouldn't enter. You wouldn't enter. And when you come from one city to another, you would have to go through the mandatory 14 days quarantine. And after you finish, they will give you a card to, to, to certify that you can go out. So um, those were some of the, the experiences. In my compound, for instance, uh, they couldn't stop us, obviously, because of the peculiarity of what we do. But they would check your temperature each time you are entering the compound. And they have noticed if if uh, your your temperature is above 37.3, uh, 
employer or so, you would have to self quarantine and then you would have to inform them. They would every time check you if they need to take you to the hospital, they would they they they, they would have to do that. So basically, those were were some of the things they did, and uh, like like uh, all of them did say. Uh, maybe we would have to come to the benefit of the, the quarantine, but we should always ask ourselves whether it's lockdown or quarantine, what do we want to achieve? The, why should they even tell us to lock down or quarantine? I guess the mode of uh, transmission of this coronavirus is not like SARS or Ebola. It makes it quite dangerous, droplets. Dr. Percy was talking about uh, using the mask. If, if you go out, whether you've been officially put in quarantine or not, you are endangering your life and you are endangering the life of the other person by you, you know? And since you cannot uh, know whether you are, you are getting the virus or you are transmitting the virus, the best thing to do to break the chain, Ambassador was talking about Wuhan, uh, some part of Hubei, Hubei most of the towns have opened, and Wuhan from the eight, Wuhan is opening up. Why are they opening up? Because they believe that now they have breaking the chain of transmission. I guess that is what this quarantine and lockdown is about. At the point you need to break down the mode, the, the chain of transmission from one person to the other to the other, the, the, the contact tracing, the close contact tracing and those things. If I'm locked down and you are locked down, everybody is locked down, and we minimize, uh, how do you call it? We minimize going out, and then we also practice the social distancing. Eventually, we are breaking the chain of transmission, you know, and then we will be able to, to, to contain uh, coronavirus. Thank you. Now, let me go on to the experience bit because you shared with us what you had to go through but yeah. you know as much as you were enduring all these things some some benefits accrued now mm -hmm. my major concern is how were you able to get items to affected Ghanaian citizens in china especially the students when the lockdown was in force yeah okay. thank you very much now uh, the benefit obviously is that I'm still alive. That's the greatest benefit. I'm alive to my family. I'm alive to serve my nation. And that is the underlying part of all these things, that we should all stay alive, you know? So that is the greatest benefit. And then, uh, like I said, then we are able to contain the, the, the virus. Now, let's, let, let me move on to the, the logistics you were talking about. Now, the, we, we had a very huge task here because uh, the students in Wuhan alone, and Hubei is very, very huge. I understand there are about 70 million people, but maybe two times or three times Ghana's population. And uh, they have uh, Xi'an, Yichan, Wuhan, and you'd have to supply them. The, the distance from Wuhan to some of those Towns were like four hours, you know, but you needed to supply. So what did we do? We, we as much as possible, um, number one, worked with the host foreign ministry because um, the city is under lockdown. You cannot go in. It's only essential services that could go in. Now, even some of the courier services, only China Post could go in. So we'd have to uh, arranged with the host foreign ministry. And because uh, they have provinces, each province had uh, the local foreign office. We had to liaise with, with the foreign office as well. And then once we got the uh, green light, we worked with the uh, China Post. And then the, the student leadership, OPK, uh, did a yeoman's job providing us with, with um, the addresses in clusters. Um, we had a few of them who were out of campus, but those who are on campus, we, we were able to send it to them through China Post. 
Now, some of the campuses, the uh, situations were really, really, the restrictions were really, really enforced. Even the courier services could not go there. If you have items to deliver, you would have to give to the courier office. They would have to look at it first before they send it to, 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 to the students. And once some of those things delayed, we had to call the school, the International uh, Students Liaison Offices, to make sure that the students had the, the items they needed to have in time. So we, we worked with local authorities. We thank God they had a very uh, effective courier service. I mean, in, uh, in within three to seven days, we were able to distribute uh, these heavy items to, to the students in, in, in Wuhan. So um, those were some of the things that we need to, to thank uh, Nooks China and then the, the, the leadership of the Ghanaian community. They actually helped us very much to be able to, uh, to do that. Thank you. I, I will end with my final question. We were getting reports that uh, the uh, initial packages which were supposed to have been given to the students had not gotten to them. We, we saw some yeah. pictures and some audios on WhatsApp and co. What was the package given to the students and what did they receive? Very well. Very well. Thank you. I, I did mention that these items were quite, were quite huge. Were, 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 were quite huge. And so the, the courier services in trying to deliver the items, so we had a campus that had about 54 students and we had about 10 boxes, huge boxes. Now, the, the courier services obviously would send like four, maybe in the morning and four in the afternoon. So most of the students just had one or two boxes and they started going on there. Now, let me tell you what we gave them. We gave them a uh, Gary slash Gary mix, uh, one part. In fact, the Gary mix, I'm told, uh, is very good. I mean, and one you know. And then we gave them for brown, one uh, sachet each. The can Cheeto, we gave them one each. Um, the sardine or the can fish, uh, each person got a minimum of three. Um, this way, this way, chocolate drink, and one is to share. We gave them curry, and one uh, uh, cold water, and then uh, this way, and one is to share. Okay. You can imagine the combination. That one, too, most of them got, uh, I mean, 10 sachet or more. Uh, most of them got about the minimum of three or four um, gang kenke, minimum of two pieces of uh, fancy kenke. Two sachets each of plantain chips. We gave them no smart. In addition to what we had given them earlier uh, already, we, we gave them no, no, no smart. We also gave them some uh, fufu, powdered fufu, and then uh, powdered pancake. Uh, now, this is what we gave the students in Wuhan. The emphasis was Wuhan because that was where the evacuation would have taken place. Now, after we had given them this, this is in addition of $500 each we gave them, which is in, in Yuan, $3,490. We, we, we took uh, care of the bank charges, so they had exactly $3,490. And as I talked to you, our 349 students had, had been paid, or Ghanaians had been paid. We paid them through bank accounts because of transparency, and only a few uh, paid through the WeChat. So after we had done this for the, the Ghanaians in Wuhan or Hubei province, our uh, focus was in Ghanaians in China. And we worked through NUCs and then the Ghanaian community. We, and as I speak to you, we've given out over four. 4,200 4, uh, pieces, uh, bags of rice, and then bottles of oil. So each person had one, one bag of rice and then one bottle of oil. 
to all those Ghanaians in the recognizable uh, community. You can imagine uh, the, the, the cost of uh, postage. Uh, but then uh, we, it was an emergency and we really had to do that. Like Ambassador said, the items I listed earlier were sent by the Honorable Minister and we need to, to thank her so much for her motherly, the, mother, the motherly role she has played in, in, in making sure that the mission uh, request and everything were, were approved very expeditiously. And, we, and it's because of that that we can, we can share with you some of these success stories. And of course, uh, my boss, the ambassador, we need to thank him for his uh, leadership role here. So these are some of the, the, the things we, we did. Now, also looking at how they were able to deal with it, we also have um, people like uh, His Excellency Ambassador, Ghana's Ambassador to China at the moment. Um, Your Excellency, let me ask you this. Is it true that you followed the steps of the president to donate your three months' salary to support Ghana's situation? I said yes. I, I will confirm I'm donating my two months' salary, March and April, to help with the COVID in addition to the mask that we're bringing. God richly bless you. Your Excellency, before we uh, make way for other programs, your final words on all this? Um, I think we should follow the lead of uh, the president. Cordbert is about leadership and about management of our personal life styles. And I think that there's a lot of information out there. As Dr. Alma said earlier, we should also not focus on false information. I think people are absorbing too much negativity, which creates unnecessary panic. Can I go on? Yes, please, Your Excellency, go ahead. Okay. It's important that we stick to the rules because if we fail to contain this virus within a timely manner, you know, I remember when this, um, when it first broke out and I met the students and they asked me, I said, I'm giving myself up to you. Within 20 days, we should reach a certain tipping point and then we start coming down. And I think the Chinese did well because the, the, the statistics and the number timelines they gave us, pretty much they were able to meet it because they said mid-April and they were able to stop it by mid of March. We should have those timelines. And I think to be able to achieve those timelines, it depends on the citizenry. So we should all adhere to the protocols because as Abu said, you have to break the chain. If you don't break the chain, it will keep moving. And the only way you stop this virus is by breaking the chain. And in countries that have been able to do it, they broke the chain. And that is what should be the singular objective of every Ghanaian that I'm going to be a force or a factor in breaking this chain. That's what I, I, I can say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. That was uh, His Excellency um, Edward Boatin, Ghana's ambassador to China and leader of the government of Ghana's COVID-19 effort in China. You can hear the success story. I mean, the work they've done together as a team. I will say, I think, thank you very much to each and every member in the uh, embassy playing that very important role. You can talk. I think they can earlier. So my welfare depends on your action. Your action determines my well-being. And my action also determines your well-being. We are collective and we are all in this together. That is how we can break the chain. Thank you. I wanted to repeat it. 
Your Excellency, it's very catchy, and I would please appeal that you repeat it once again. Said, my welfare depends on your action. Your action determines my well-being, and my action determines your well-being also. We are a collective, and that's how we shall break the chain to contain this virus. Wow. That was very powerful. Samuel, if you're around, you can take over. I think we'll be ending the show right about now. But you're watching us live on uh, ETV Ghana. Also, you can listen to us on Happy FM and on Man FM, as well as Net2 TV right now and Ash FM in Kumasi. But we are streaming live on Net2 TV GH on YouTube and on Facebook also and all social media handles. If Samuel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here with you, my brother. Okay, go ahead. Yo, Minya Abedi Medawasi for holding the fort and asking the relevant questions. Uh, your panelists and a pain. One more FYMI discussion in April. His Excellency Ambassador Edward Watson. Uh, sir, we are grateful. Uh, Dr. Amma Edwin, we are grateful for making the time. Mr. Abu Osman, we are grateful that you also made the time. Uh, Dr. Percy Akwete, we are grateful. Mr. Samson, Samson. Uh, Opoku and then Miss Gloria uh, Akpabla, we are grateful for making time to join us this morning for this very informative and uh, insightful uh, discussion we had on Netu TV, Oman FM, Happy 98.9 FM, and on ETV Ghana as well. We are very grateful and we wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Good day to you too as well. Thank you. Bye bye. How did you know a Meda Minia Abedi a name and so I say Meda production team uh a war happy FM uh ETV Ghana technical team Richard and team George uh Yabeda Munya Mosumasi said Modi 